Welcome to another viewer inspired video. Um, your comments that lead to videos uh, are always appreciated. Uh, I have plenty of uh, videos. My list of videos is just off the charts. But uh, every once in a while I get a, video, a, a question or a comment from a viewer. And this one was emailed to me. And uh, the individual wanted to know how you could uh, provide bracing for a small deck located on a small sloping hillside. And I believe his deck was going to be about 8 foot wide by about 16 foot long. And I think this one here is about 12 foot by 12 foot. So first thing I want to point out is that a deck like this might only require bracing in the front. You might not need to have any bracing on the side coming up here. And the reason for that would be if you have a large enough concrete footing here on each side, or you have multiple footings, then um, this right here is going to provide you with a nice anchor into the ground to prevent this from moving in this direction. And if the deck isn't going to be that far off of the ground, maybe um, less than three feet off of the ground, then maybe, just maybe, the firmly anchored footings with a solid beam, something like that, is going to provide enough stability for the entire deck. Now, once you attach the decking boards to the deck, it's going to get a little stronger. And uh, your job would be just to simply stand on top of the deck and see if it moves. Or go to one side of the deck and simply push on it and see if you can move it. And if you can move it, then install the bracing. So you could always, as long as you can install the bracing afterwards, then um, you can build the deck and then see if it moves. If it does, then install the bracing to um, eliminate the movement. Now, here are a couple of different examples of how the bracing can be attached. Now, I need to point out that I rotated the base anchors, the connectors. This one here is facing out. This one here is facing to the side. And then I provided you with two different scenarios for the bracing. Now, I'm not about to suggest that this is the way you need to do your decking because you can simply lower this one. You can have it at the same um, height as this one and then just get a longer bolt and then drill a hole through this. So you would lower it down to here and then you could use this bolt to connect the bottom of the brace to the deck and then have the same size and then use the same size braces. And again, I hope that makes sense. And then of course you can see here where the bracing had to be raised because of the base connector. And then here we used a block. You know, you can always use two or three blocks if you want to, if, you, if, if this joist is not gonna be located in the right spot. And of course, if it is, you can always move the joist to that spot and uh, connect it and then always extend the decking over if you wanted to and then put maybe a two by four instead of a two by six on the outside, maybe some fascia board. So again, I'm just kind of throwing out a few different scenarios here. Another idea would be to locate the footing in a desired location to where it is going to work. So it doesn't need to attach to the outside board. It can always attach to one of the inside deck joists also. So here we can see where everything is straight. And here we can see where we simply moved the bracing over. This isn't going to provide you with the best scenario, but it will provide you with something better than not having a brace at all. So another view of it there if you need to angle it over view of it there where it's nice and straight 90 degree angle coming off the post now let's go ahead and take a look at the footings we're looking for a little more structural support maybe we don't want to use the braces or maybe we're going to have a longer deck then you might consider using larger concrete footings the larger concrete is going to provide the mass um, to prevent the deck from moving. Smaller concrete footings um, on, on larger decks will actually move. They just move, especially if it's located on the side of a hill where you're not going to have additional mass, which would be the soil, to prevent uh, the footings from moving. So another consideration 
Next step would be to install braces that are less than a 45 degree angle, maybe something between 30 and 45 degrees. Now, I'm not always going to suggest that this is going to provide you with the best or the most effective um, way to stabilize something like this. But in some cases, it's going to work better. Um, a 45 degree angle brace in some cases that's only two or three feet long uh, might not be as effective as a brace that is six to eight feet long. But you need to make sure that the brace isn't going to move. I've seen people install two by fours that are about, you know, 15 feet long, 14 feet, and um, they are going to move from side to side as this moves. But most of the time, you're not going to have a problem with that if you have a brace on each side, because as this one here wants to buckle in this direction, this one here is going to um, prevent that from happening. Not going to go into all the details on that. And of course, here's a block um, that can be attached to the beam and the joist if you needed to have the brace a little longer. Again, just getting a little creative here. And of course, the brace on the side. You can have something like this if uh, you need to have a longer brace. And as always, a set of stairs might be required for something like this. And this is going to provide you with additional structural support for the um, deck. So that is about it for the video. Smaller decks like this, um, something like this shouldn't be a problem. You know, make sure you get some nice concrete footings um, in the back here to uh, stabilize everything. And again, a smaller deck might not require any braces on going in this direction, just braces running in the other direction.